Cryogenic distillation has been the common technology for air separation, but uh, increasingly adsorptive separations offer energy efficient alternatives to cryogenic distillation. Now, air separation is uh, required in two different contexts for producing um, purified oxygen or for producing purified nitrogen. Purified oxygen is required in a wide variety of industrial applications that include portable adsorption units for medical applications, in uh, space vehicles, and in submarines. Purified nitrogen is required in applications where it is desired or necessary to exclude oxygen. Typical industrial applications include preservation of food and produce during uh, trucking, the blanketing of fuel tanks, of fighter aircraft, the inerting of reactors in a number of pharmaceutical processes, and laser cutting. Nitrogen is also required for use in laboratory analytic equipment such as GC, LC, FTIR, and ICP, and in glove boxes. This presentation examines the PSA technologies for producing either purified oxygen or purified nitrogen. For background information on um, PSA technologies for air separation, I refer you to two excellent textbooks. The first one by Ruthwan, Farouk and Knebel. And uh, this textbook by Yang on absorbents, fundamentals and applications. For uh, people who are interested in um, medical oxygen concentrators, I refer you to this paper by Aurora. The uh, material I'm going to present is largely based on my own uh, published works. Two references are provided here. See also other video presentations on my uh, YouTube channel. Cation exchange zeolites such as LTA and phagocyte are commonly used adsorbents in PSA technologies for air separation. LTA zeolites consist of uh, cages of a diameter approximately 11 angstrom and the uh, adjacent cages are separated by windows that have uh, dimensions of approximately 4 to 4.5 angstrom. The uh, silicon to aluminum ratio in LTA zeolites that are commonly used for air separations is uh, equal to unity. And the extra framework cations may be either sodium or a mixture of sodium and calcium. In um, phagocyte type zeolites, um, the silicon to aluminum ratio varies from one to one and a half, and these are also called exeolites. They consist of uh, cages of approximately 11 and a half angstrom in diameter separated by windows that have uh, openings of about 7.2 angstrom. The extra framework cations could be sodium or lithium. The separation of nitrogen from oxygen 
in uh, cation exchange to zeolites essentially rely on uh, the difference in, in the quadrupole moments of nitrogen and oxygen. Here I plot the polarizability of these uh, gas molecules against the quadrupole moment. Nitrogen has a slightly higher polarizability than oxygen, but the quadrupole moment is four times larger than that of uh, oxygen. And the uh, interaction of the electrical field gradient with the uh, quadrupole of uh, nitrogen, say, is proportional to the quadrupole moment times the charge divided by the cube of the distance between the guest and the extra framework cation. Therefore, smaller cations such as uh, lithium um, result in higher electrostatic interactions because the distance between the centers of the molecules is reduced. On the other hand, barium, which is a significantly larger cation with a radius of 1.34 angstrom, the uh, distances are larger. However, barium is bivalent and uh, this uh, in leads to a higher charge, leading to a, an enhanced electrical field gradient. Therefore, the uh, choice of the extra framework cation, its charge and or radius dictates the uh, strength of the electrostatic interactions between the gas molecule and the cation. And a uh, judicious choice is usually made in practice in order to arrive at the desired uh, separation performance, as we shall demonstrate. For nitrogen-oxygen separations, two types of LTA zeolites are used, LTA-4A zeolites and LTA-5A zeolites. LTA-4A zeolites contain 96 sodium ions per unit cell. The location of these uh, sodium cations are shown by the blue spheres. You note that the uh, sodium cations occupy positions that uh, partially block the windows separating the cages. This partial blocking of the windows is an essential characteristic of 4A zeolites. LTA-5A zeolite, on the other hand, has uh, 32 sodium cations per unit cell and 32 calcium cations per unit cell. And the locations are shown by the blue spheres. These are the sodium cations and the red spheres indicate the calcium cations. You will note that these cations do not occupy sites near the windows and there is no obstruction of intercage hopping of gas molecules from one cage to the adjacent cage through the four angstrom windows. Consider nitrogen-oxygen separations using LTA-5A zeolite. We take a fixed bed absorber and pack it with uh, 5A zeolite. The uh, 5A zeolite uh, contains uh, 32 
sodium cations and 32 calcium cations and the window regions are devoid of any cations and uh, if we look at the uh, dimensions of the uh, gas molecules we note that the uh, cross-sectional dimension for oxygen is smaller than that of nitrogen and uh, these two molecules hop from cage to cage in a lengthwise manner and therefore the diffusivity of oxygen is larger than the diffusivity of nitrogen by a factor of approximately two. The adsorption favors nitrogen but diffusion favors oxygen. Taken as a whole, the uh, separation of nitrogen oxygen mixtures is uh, driven by mixture adsorption equilibrium and uh, nitrogen is preferentially taken up inside the pores and purified oxygen is uh, rejected into the gas phase. Let's have a look at the uh, simulations of transient breakthroughs in which a 21 79 mixture of oxygen and nitrogen is fed to a fixed bed adsorber at a total pressure of uh, six bars. The blue line is uh, shows the development of the concentration profiles of nitrogen and the red line is the concentration profile for oxygen. And if we look at the uh, animation once more, we note that oxygen traverses the uh, length of the fixed bed faster than nitrogen and elutes first and can be collected. And this is how purified oxygen is produced. The separation is driven by mixture adsorption equilibrium. The uh, situation is quite different for separations of nitrogen-oxygen mixtures using LTA 4A zeolite. 4A zeolite contains 96 sodium cations per unit cell and these sodium cations are located near the window regions and the uh, location of the window region partially hinders the intercage hopping of nitrogen and oxygen. The net consequence is that the diffusivity of oxygen with respect to nitrogen is a factor 100, significantly higher than for 5A zeolite. Due to the uh, large diffusion selectivity that favors oxygen, the uh, separation of nitrogen-oxygen mixtures is uh, driven by diffusion, which overrides mixture adsorption equilibrium. And uh, this technique of uh, exploiting diffusion selectivity is also termed as a kinetic separation and uh, this is a method that is adopted in practice to produce purified nitrogen. Let's have a look at the uh, transient breakthroughs. The blue line is the uh, nitrogen and the red line is the oxygen concentration profile as it uh, develops along the fixed bed. Let's have a look again. Note 
nitrogen breaks through first and this is a technique that is used to produce purified nitrogen that is used for blanketing purposes for preservation of uh, edible uh, materials in uh, current industrial practice LIX zeolite is the uh, preferred adsorbent for use in um, medical oxygen concentrators. The interactions of uh, lithium ions with the, with the uh, nitrogen gas molecules results in stronger electrostatic interactions due to uh, the smaller size of the uh, lithium cation. Furthermore, LIX zeolite has a uh, window dimension of approximately 7.2 angstrom, significantly larger than that for LTA 4A or 5A zeolites. And therefore, intracrystalline diffusion limitations are significantly reduced by using LIX zeolite. The animations prepared on the basis of MD simulations show the hovering of the gas molecules nitrogen blue and oxygen red around the extra framework cations.